Howdy, this is Lemmy with RevZilla here to talk to you today about Shad Hard Luggage. You should be checking out some Shad Hard Luggage for your motorcycle if you need to carry some stuff with you on your bike. Now Shad's currently making luggage really for a number of different things. Their luggage itself is actually fairly universal, however some of the mounting equipment is going to be very bike specific. So for that reason I'd recommend you browse some through some of their luggage, but when you're actually getting ready to order, make sure you swing on there, put your bike into our bike finder, we're going to show you the mounting equipment that fits your bike precisely. Installation on these, I'm going to call two beards on average, and the reason I'm going to say that is because some of you are going to be putting on all sorts of different luggage onto your motorcycles on a very vast array of bikes. All that having been said, if you're handy with hand tools, the worst you're gonna face is light fabrication, light electrical work. You should be able to get through the job pretty easily. We'll get into installation in just a little bit. First though, let's talk about who Shad is and exactly what it is that they're doing. So Shad's a Spanish company. They've been around making luggage since the early 90s. And they've got some really interesting pieces. Now, if you're shopping for luggage, especially if you're looking in the adventure, sport, naked markets, it's pretty obvious that the giant in the room is GD. If you're looking at Shad, you might be sort of comparing this side by side with GV. Generally speaking, I would say that I like Shad's quality about the same as GV. In many cases, I feel like the quality can even be a little bit higher. Now, the cool part about this too is generally when you're looking at sort of your whole package of stuff, when you take your luggage as well as your mounting equipment as well, it can often turn out that Shad's just a little bit cheaper, again, than sort of the big name stuff there. So that is one thing to keep in mind. It's kind of a nice benefit right off the bat. Now, like I said, we're talking about hard luggage exclusively today. And we're going to start out with the items you can see up here. We're talking about top cases specifically. Now, Shad offers quite a few top cases. Here's what you need to know about them. They've got 14 different top cases as of the time of this video. There's a wide variety of sizes. The model number um, is expressing the volume of the top case, so it's very easy to understand very quickly exactly what size box it is that you're going to get. Now, you can see up here we've got a 48 as well as a 58X. These are pretty cool. They're very standard top boxes. The 58X is kind of a special one. This is kind of an interesting point on here, that X is for expandable. Believe it or not, this thing actually clamshells open and closed. It allows you to pack just a little bit more should you wind up not having quite enough room. It's nice to have sort of an adjustable size on there. Now, other things you should know about these. These do come with a mounting plate. What they don't come with, though, however, is a top case rack. So if your bike's not set up to carry a top case, you're going to want to, again, use that bike finder, pick up the hardware you need in order to affix one to your bike. The mount plate will come with this, and that will mate up to the hardware there. One thing you should know is you may require an adapter in a couple of weird scenarios. However, again, this is going to be very bike specific and our product pages will guide you through some of that stuff. Now, a couple of things too you should know is that these do also have accessories available for them. All their bags are going to have a destination bag that you can purchase. Again, if you want to grab your bags right out and go right into the hotel, it makes life a little bit easier. These things are also equipped too. If we turn this around, you can see you have an optional uh, passenger backrest pad for some of the larger top boxes here. And these things can also be fitted with both lights as well as some reflectors in some cases. One thing I think that is kind of a standout with these, again, kind of compared to GV, is that the lights on these actually stay with the bike. The lights are not mounted to the top case itself. GV uses a system involving sort of these spring-loaded contacts. I've had some trouble with them. For me, it's a little bit more robust, electrically speaking, to have the light stay with the bike. I think that's a selling point on these top cases. One thing I really like about these top cases, especially as compared to a GV, is that you do not necessarily need a key to get into them. A GV forces you to lock and unlock the top case every single time you use it. Shad does not do that. You can leave your top box unlocked. It can make it very nice, especially if you're on a trip. You can throw your kind of often used items right in your top box and you can access them very quickly. Having said all that, let's move into their next set of hard luggage and we're gonna discuss some of the saddlebags that Shad has to offer. Alrighty, now we're gonna round things out with Shad's pannier system. And their panniers are actually very easy to understand here. We'll start first with the mounting hardware. Now this is gonna be the bike specific piece. The panniers themselves are reasonably universal. However, the actual mounting hardware, again, that's gonna be bike specific. Again, hit up that bike finder so we can show you exactly the stuff that'll fit your bike. Now Shad refers to their mounting system as the three P system for three points of contact. It's a great system. Those three points triangulate the luggage, winds up being a really beefy solid mount. But the thing we like 
like about this is that not only is it beefy, but it's also kind of unobtrusive. Short of having a beautifully integrated factory setup on there, this is probably the next least noticeable way to mount a set of bags onto your bike. Now we talk about the saddlebags themselves. We've really only got three different options here. You can see we've got a set of their 35s and 36s. Again, both named for the displacement here. These are a little bit different stylistically, of course. You can see there's some aluminum trim on the 35. The 36s are a little bit plainer. However, the way these things are set up, we're gonna A, be able to put a 2XL helmet in both of these particular bags. The other thing too here is that these are kind of meant to complement a wide variety of bikes. Whether you're on an adventure bike, a sport bike, a naked bike, these should look reasonably good on just about anything out there on the road. Now, of course, there's one other bag here you don't see up here, and that is their 23 liter bag. The 23 bag is a little bit different than these. Rather than clamshell open, they're not vertically split. Instead, those are horizontally split. Now, the hinges on the outside, handles on the inside, so you'll need to actually flip them open from the inside of the bike to the outside. Keep in mind, there can be some fitment problems with those. It's a very small number of bikes that experience that, but you should just be aware of them. Typically, you're gonna see those smaller bags, I think, for most riders on smaller bikes who can't support such a large saddlebag on there. So I promised you earlier we'd talk a little bit about installation, and we shall. Again, these are not particularly difficult to install, neither are the top cases. Again, you're gonna have to do a little bit of homework figuring out exactly what sort of mounting system, plates, etc. you're gonna need. Other than that, though, this stuff's all gonna install really easily with basic hand tools. Just about any of you should be able to get this done. And again, there might be some light fabrication. Perhaps you may need a spacer here or there. Um, it, it, nothing's gonna be particularly hard to do here. Some light electrical work, again, if you are opting to install any type of a, uh, any type of a light onto your top case. However, I think for most people with average hand tools, a couple hours in the garage should see you through the end of the job. And you'll be ready to rock and roll, carrying a lot more stuff with you, really ready to attack some of those road trips. If it's not immediately evident, I think shad luggage is a great option for a lot of different riders here. However, you shouldn't just take my word for it. Go read what some other riders think about their shad setups on their motorcycles. And if you need any individualized attention or help, feel free to get in touch with us, csrevzilla.com, or you can get a friendly gear geek by phone, 877-792-9455. I'm Len, I'm out of here.